Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in today's tutorial, we are going to create an application that uses dynamic prompt chains. If you followed any of my content, you know I have especially most recently been making a lot of AI content. But when it comes to AI applications, there's many different AI applications and use cases you can actually make. And dynamic prompt chains are prompt chains that use the previous completion in the following prompt. So you'll see shortly what this actually means. To do this, I'm going to use Make. And Make is a cost-effective automation platform. And I am just going to log in. I'm also going to use Tally just to take the user input. So Tally is a questionnaire platform or survey platform where you can just create questions and take input. So here I am going to get the user to write a topic and I'm, the first prompt is going to generate a poem. When I go back to make, I see this dashboard and I can go to scenario, see my scenarios. And what I'm going to do is create a new scenario. And in this new scenario, what I first need to do is set up the trigger. So the trigger is going to be when I take the user input, it's going to pick it up here in make and then trigger a following workflow. So I am going to find tally. And here you can see watch new responses. And I believe I can do that. I'm actually going to add new. And so I've already connected my tally account, but what I need to do is select the form ID. So I select my form. This is my dynamic prompt chain form. And I'm going to hit save. And now I can hit OK. And what I can actually do is hit run once. So now it's just running on demand here. And if I type in basketball, it's met. You can see it's picked this up. And if we go to actually see what is picked up, we can go to fields and we can see that it's picked up basketball. Perfect. What we have to do next is send it to OpenAI to generate a poem. So we're going to generate a poem from this. And all we have to do to do that is use the OpenAI module. And what we're going to do is create a completion. I'm going to use text DaVinci 003. And I have to give it a prompt. So I'm going to say, write a haiku. I am spelling this right out and then I'm going to take this right here which for us the input was basketball and this is going to be write a haiku about basketball just hit okay and what I'm going to do is run once again go back to my form and just test this I am going to type basketball again hit submit you can see it's picked up. Now we're sending it to OpenAI and it's finished with OpenAI. And we should be able to see if we go to choices and one, you can see a slam dunk, a slam dunk at sites, rim rock, rim rocks, net swishes. So we got our initial, our initial haiku. I'm sure our haiku is a lot longer than that. We can actually change some of these settings here to make it a lot longer. So if we change the maximum tokens to like a thousand or something like that, temperature to one, it should make it a little bit longer. What we're going to do next is take that haiku that's been generated by OpenAI, as you can see here, and we're going to take each line and turn each line into a paragraph. So what we want to do here is create another OpenAI module, create another completion. And this is what dynamic prompt chaining is about. So we're going to go right here. 
And what we're going to do is the prompt's going to be a little bit different. We're going to say, turn each line of the following haiku into a paragraph. And what we're going to do, get this right. What we're going to do is put, if I can find it, so choices, text there. And we're going to do run once. We are going to set up, if we can do this. We did basketball. Let's do swimming. And you can see it's processing. It's creating the haiku right now. And now it's sending to the second prompt. And what it should be doing is taking each line of the haiku and turn it into a paragraph. And actually, we did make a mistake because we didn't adjust the advanced settings. So we want the max tokens to be, let's say, 2,000. I'm going to run it again. I'll do swimming again. This should generate three paragraphs for us. So if we go here, we should be able to see one paragraph. That is not good. So let's see. So I noticed what I did in my prompt. I said, turn each line of the following into a paragraph. And actually, I'm going to change the prompt. I'm going to say, create three paragraphs from the following and see if that actually improves it. And we'll give it one more spin. I'm going to say, dance. Oh. Uh, use existing data. I just want a couple paragraphs that are generated from the haiku. Okay, let's see what this generates. Okay, so I've got three paragraphs. Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three from the haiku that was produced. So this is our second link in our prompt chain. And we're going to do one more link in this prompt chain. What we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to choose our model again. And we're going to say, generate an email subject line from the following and we're going to use the three paragraphs that were generated and now if we do this again a topic let's say a topic is traveling i go ahead and hit submit Hit run once, use existing data. And we've got an error here. The server had an error. So we're going to try and run this again. If I go back to my form and click, I write traveling, hit submit. Run that, use existing data.
And what you can see is going through the steps. So let's see the email subject line that was produced. And it says, subject line, unlocking new opportunities, take on the frailing. So I'm not actually sure what that means. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paragraphs that it produced. And lastly, what I want to do is I'm going to send myself an email of these three paragraphs. So this is just a creative way to do di dynamic prompt chaining. So I'm going to take the subject line. If we go to choices here, I'm going to take the content and I'm going to use this content right here. I'm just going to send this to myself. Hit OK. And now we're going to test this one more time. I am going to type computer science submit run once use existing data. And it's just going through the motions of our different chains that we have in our prompt. Okay, it should have sent an email to myself. So if I go to my email, and usually it takes maybe a minute or two, so it might not be there straight away. Oh, yeah, it's here straight away. So you can see here, exploring the joys of the world, reflections on my, and obviously I can change um, the token limit. That's probably why it's cut off. But you can see our three paragraphs here. If we go back, let's see if we go back, if it actually did generate our three paragraphs. So yeah, it generated our three paragraphs, but you can see it's actually not formatted. So you might have to do some data manipulation or some manipulation to this to actually format it properly. Um, because when it comes here, it's all bundled into one. The great thing about the way I did it here is with Gmail, you can actually use... Um, HTML tags, so you can use line breaks if you wanted to format it so it's more readable. But here, this is the free paragraph that is generated. Roaming the world anew is an experience like no other. To see fresh sights, meet new people, and learn new cultures and stories is an incredible feeling. And it goes on and expands on our haiku in free paragraphs, and then it creates a subject line from those free paragraphs that I sent to my email. So this is a very, very simple way to create dynamic prompt chains using an automation platform like Make. If you have any questions, concerns, or queries, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section. Some of you email me, some of you reach out to me on TikTok or on Instagram. Uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Happy hacking.